And a little less than a year from now, we will be electing a Democratic President of the United States. The only reason I'm standing here today is because somebody, somewhere, stood up when it was risky. Stood up when it was hard. Stood up when it wasn't popular. And because that somebody stood up, a few more stood up. And then a few thousand stood up. And then a few million stood up. And standing up with courage and clear purpose, they somehow managed to change the world. That their voices could be that difference. It's the answer spoken by young and old, rich and poor, Democrat and Republican, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Native American, gay, straight, disabled and not disabled, Americans who sent a message to the world that we have never been just a collection of individuals or a collection of red states and blue states. We are and always will be the United States of America. As president, I will end this war in Iraq. We will have our troops home within 16 months. I'll close Guantanamo. I will restore habeas corpus. I will finish the fight against Al-Qaeda. When we summon the entire nation to a common purpose, a higher purpose, and I run for the presidency of the United States because that's the party America needs us to be right now. A party that doesn't just offer change as a slogan, but real, meaningful change. And I'll lead the world to combat the common threats of the 21st century, nuclear weapons and terrorism, climate change and poverty, genocide and disease. And I will send once more a message to those yearning faces beyond our shores that says, you matter to us. Your future is our future. I'm running in this race because of what Dr. King called the fierce urgency of now. Because I believe there's such a thing as being too late. And our moment is now. America, our moment is now. I certainly didn't expect to find myself in this position a year ago. But as I've spoken to many of you in my travels across the states these past months, as I've read your emails and read your letters, I've been struck by how hungry we all are for a different kind of politics. So I've spent some time thinking about how I could best advance the cause of change and progress that we so desperately need. The decisions that have been made in Washington these past six years and the problems that have been ignored have put our country in a precarious place. America's faced big problems before, but today our leaders in Washington seem incapable of working together in a practical, common sense way. Politics has become so bitter and partisan, so gummed up by money and influence, that we can't tackle the big problems that demand solutions. And that's what we have to change first. We have to change our politics and come together around our common interests and concerns as Americans. This won't happen by itself. A change in our politics can only come from you, from people across our country who believe there's a better way and are willing to work for it.